Would you like to learn how to use breakout rooms in Zoom? My name's Angie King from Getting IT Together Online, and in this short video, I'd like to show you exactly what a breakout room is, how it works, and how you can easily set it up. Breakout rooms are a feature that Zoom has which allows you to divide your participants into small groups. So it may be that you want to have mastermind groups, maybe you have a couple of teams and you'd like to put them into separate groups so they can work on things. Maybe you want to have one-on-one -on -one chats with people. So there's a variety of things that you can use a breakout room for. Breakout rooms are available in both the free version and the paid version. So the breakout room option should be on the taskbar at the bottom of your screen. So if it's not there, you'll need to go into your settings within Zoom and turn it on. So let me share my screen. I'll show you where it is. So basically, I've, I've loaded up Zoom already. And if I go to settings, and then you'll see there's an option that says in meeting advanced. Now, if you go to in meeting advanced, the second option down there says breakout room. So that's what you need to actually make sure that you have turned on. It will allow you so to choose how many rooms you would like and also how you would like the people to be added into the rooms. You'll notice I'm the only one currently in this session, so this isn't working exactly um, as it would if you had people. You can have up to 50 breakout rooms. If you um, have this option selected that says assign automatically, then Zoom will automatically just randomly add people into the number of rooms that you have selected. If you say to assign manually, then you are choosing which people go into which rooms. This is a great feature if you have those teams, a couple of teams, and you'd like the teams to be in uh, within particular rooms. You are also able to let the participants choose the room. So when we, we have that selected, which option we would like, we then would click on create. And what that will do is it then will show us each of the rooms with the people or assigned in those rooms, and we are able to then open all the rooms, which means we are then actually able to assign the rooms. If we click on options, you'll also notice that there's a few things that you can do and that is that you are able to move people into rooms, you are able to have the breakout rooms close at a particular time and also once the rooms are open, you are able to broadcast a message to the people in those rooms. So for example, you are able to say, if I just open the rooms, you'll notice that I'm able to broadcast a message which could be to say something like, the, you know, come back in five minutes or at half time or whatever it is so that people know what's going on. One of the other benefits or features of the breakout room is that whatever happens in the room is not recorded. So if you are recording the session, then it does not record what's going on. As the, and also the, the chats are not recorded either. As the host of, of the Zoom session, you are able to pop in and out of each of the breakout rooms to give advice or to do a task or whatever it is. People in the breakout rooms do have an option to ask for help. So if you're sitting back in the main screen, you can see which rooms would require your help. So I'm just going to close the rooms now. So breakout rooms are just a great feature that Zoom has to allow you to have your teams and your participants working in small groups. If you're watching this video on my YouTube channel. I would love it if you would subscribe. Otherwise, pop over to my website angieking.com.au where I have numerous other tech tips that will make your life so much easier. Have the most amazing and abundant day and I do look forward to talking to you again really, really soon. Bye.